Hello, everyone. I'm playing a game where I have health, my weapons have durability, and I got a drink to survive. Is it Breath of the Wild? No! It's Dark Cloud. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story, do you believe in a story woven in the book? It feels like it's broken English. Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you the story this ancient book tells of. A magical and magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... Towin? Eh, yeah, his name is fine. Hello there. This is the tale of my first ever playthrough of Dark Cloud, a PS2 game that did the weapon breaking thing long before Breath of the Wild. Now, Dark Cloud is a fairly grindy game, and perhaps there's a minority of people who enjoy watching the progress of the grind, but in the interest of valuing people's time, I'm gonna pop in every now and then and cut out some of the grind and just talk through some of the bits that might be missing context. With any luck, the gameplay will still remain somewhat cohesive, and you'll get some extra meta commentary from someone who's playing this for the very first time. The intro is fairly story heavy, so this might be it for future me in this episode. So without further ado, please enjoy. Dark Shrine, all right. Mm. <laughs> the only lady in a crowd of men. <laughs> You've gathered quite a few of them. I had hard time finding dancers with the right qualifications. Look at them. Their dance of blood. Mixing the blood of witches with that of humans is the key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Problems? In order to procure good material, you do need adequate. I see. I'll pay you extra. That should solve your problem. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, what will happen? Very soon, sir. Let us enjoy the ceremony till its end. They are speeding through that text so fast. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you hear that drum? It's so fast. Flag, sir. Do you know the legend of the dark genie sealed in the urn? Of course. How much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? I've been waiting for this for years, and now its legendary power is mine. Four hundred years ago, the Genie of Darkness appeared in the East, and with its evil power, the world was burnt away. What do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? You'll see. He looks like Nazi Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> We've been at this for like five minutes. This is an intense dance. 
This is recital length. So now is the time. Yes, sir. So it seems. Oh my. What? This is the genie? Well, it's quite different than I imagined. The ancient dark genie. This is it? Hey, who are you guys? Welcome back, Genie of Darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your master. Oh, is that right? Whatever. Fine. Huh. That's right. I haven't eaten for 400 years. I have to eat something. Hmm. Got you. Huh? Dude, just straight up eating him. I help! Stop it! Straight up ate him! Don't cross that guy. Uh. Delicious. We are screwed. <laughs> this must be the token childhood friend. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Tone, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Tolan, it's already started. Come on, let's go. See, I told you, you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. Oh, she left you. Tolan, hurry up. But mom, do I have to go? Look at his dopey smile. All right. I'm a ripoff of Link. <laughs> All right. Look at that lively crowd of eight people. <laughs> so much dancing in the beginning of this. <laughs> oh no. It's the Dark Genie. Look at the insect squirm about. Start there. <laughs> Dang, he just shot a laser from his finger. From his foot? Well, there goes our homes. No, that's the friend. No. 
<laughs> Yo, Towen, wake up. We got things to do, people to save. Hi there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Wake up. Hey! It's gonna be a woman, and I'm gonna be like, oops. No, it's an old man, okay. Ahem. I'm the Fairy King. I'm the entity that unites all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half of your world was annihilated. That's so messed up. Nazi Nigel Thornberry, for real? It must be the men from the East that performed the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use its black demon power for war without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness. Pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical powers as us, spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that can withstand the evil power. And also a clear, kind heart. You might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. I decided to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. Whoa. There. Surprised? That's called Atlamelia. It's a stone with a magical power. Well, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Look, my town, it's gone. Do you know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. You see, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. It probably thinks everything was destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla, using that Atlamelia, and bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. You may even be able to create an even better world than before. Hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Ah, well. I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. So long. Wait! Where do I go? Where do I start? He's just like, go find some Atla and then... How do... Don't smile! Towen, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. Voices of the wind. Voices of the trees. Voices of the animals. And the voices of Earth. They're all calling for your help. Towen, you will probably meet and say goodbye to many people. In talking to these people, you may receive clues for defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, Towen, your adventure will begin. First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. Will he? Ah, Toen, you're alive. Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. We never dreamt this would happen. 
One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Toen? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? I guess the only thing we can do is get help from the guardian of Narun village, Dran. Dran will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask, Toad. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Dran what happened. Divine Beast Cave is the cave outside towards your right-hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. This is the cave key. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here. I'll get you more supplies. Good luck. Thanks, Mayor.